everyone! Welcome to week eight of my series, Paint and Meditate, the painting challenge where I use the Color Cube by Sarah Renee Clark and Bible verses turned in from all of you to restrict my color palette and to be the inspiration behind the painting. Today's colors are gray, olive, crimson, burgundy, and clay. And our verse will be... Romans 8.31. All right, let's get painting. Romans 8 is such a solid passage. And I mean, this explains why I've received so many verses from all of you from this chapter. Every time I read this passage, I just get so hyped. It covers so many good truths about where we stand as Christians, free from condemnation, that we are children of God, that our suffering will lead to glory, that we have the Holy Spirit in us who prays on our behalf, that nothing can separate us from God's love. And right there in the midst of all these amazing gems is our verse today, Romans 8:31. What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, us, who can be against us? My first ideas for this painting were going to try to utilize a shield in some way, showing how no matter what comes against us, God is protecting us. But I just wasn't feeling it, to be honest. So I went into prayer as always, meditating on this verse. This first question in the verse is cluing us in to go back and look at all that was talked about in this passage before. Reflecting on all of chapter eight of Romans was filling my heart with such confidence and joy in knowing that the almighty God of the universe cares so much about me. It had me remembering the ways he has shaped me and grown me in the presence of opposition and difficulty, and all the times he was there fighting my battles with me when I didn't have the strength. As I meditated on all of this, a visual came to mind of these sweet little flowers popping out of this kind of harsh industrial environment. A much different take than what I was originally going for, but it just felt right. I used the grays to create this concrete look for the backdrop of the canvas. I used an old foam brush where I removed the foam and applied the paint using that plastic piece underneath to try to create this sort of slab look with more defined and sharp edges. Then the flowers, of course, had to be crimson. Another color cube card in this challenge with crimson. I love that because it just reminds me of the blood of Christ and how it represents represents our freedom and victory. Putting the flowers down, I used this old salt shaker and I painted along the bottom of it. Then I put it on the canvas and twist it, as you see here, which helped to get the basic shape started for the flowers. I always love getting creative with household items in my paintings to create interesting shapes and textures. Are there any crazy things that you use in your painting techniques? Using my brush, I gave them a little more oomph and kept layering on different shades of the crimson to try to get them to really pop on the dark background. The rest of the colors in this palette kind of naturally fell into place. Next, I used the burgundy as the center of the flowers. I used this old brush with really hard bristles and dabbed them in the middle of the flower, hoping to create a kind of bumpy texture. Then using olive, I created the stems. I went with the darker shade for the base, and then I eventually added a lighter shade to help give some highlights. I wanted them to be delicate, hence the really skinny stems. I painted some of the stems so that they were emerging straight straight from under the gray, almost like weeds breaking through the concrete. And last but not least, I used the clay to add these little pollen dots all over the inside to help bring more life and character to the flower. Has there been a time in your life where knowing that God is for you and not against you has encouraged you or helped you to overcome a situation that you are facing? If so, leave amen in the comments and feel free to share about that experience so we can build each other up in our faith. Whatever life or the powers of darkness try to throw at us, we can still thrive and come out victorious because of the hope we have in God's redemption and because of the comfort and security we have in our loving Father. There is nothing we will face that we can't overcome because God is on our side. He is fighting for us, strengthening us, and growing us through even the harshest of conditions. And resting in that protective love of God allows us to truly flourish in every season. You can follow along with these painting challenge videos and also catch other creative videos that help deepen your faith and relationship with God over here next. This has been Ko here with you to create eternal perspective.